Bacon are still working to help families who had to leave because of Hurricane Matthew. I talked to a father whose family is waiting to get back home. I greatly appreciate the Red Cross. Trans Wilkins lost nearly everything. We're just under a lot of stress, but without the Red Cross, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to, uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have anything. Hurricane Matthew took his house in Savannah. Right now, we were dependent 100% because uh, when immediate evacuations go, we had, within, we had 20 minutes. But didn't take his family. My wife and my daughter. I got a uh, one, uh, year and a half old daughter. The Wilkins family has made the best of a bad situation at the East Macon Recreation Center. The Georgia State Defense Force, the Red Cross, and other local organizations partnered up to help. The Salvation Army was here. They bring in food a couple times a day. We work with DFACS. We work with all of the agencies, and everyone is very willing to put in and make this very successful. The Salvation Army does bring food, and the, the local church here brings 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 uh, some food and coffee and stuff like that here and there. Uh, if we have a need, they automatically will set our need. Because the danger near the coast isn't quite over. Families may have to stay another day or so while power is restored and roads are cleared. We will take in anyone that isn't able to go back. If they live on a barrier island, they're still stuck. So we will continue to give them a nice, safe, home-like environment where it is home for them when they're in the shelter. And we have a link on our website, 41NBC.com, to tell you how you can volunteer for the Red Cross. Well, the Salvation Army